Hey guys, Andrew Swihart here again, giving more tips and tricks on being a freelance artist as far as the profession goes and the business side of things. So, uh, once again, you know, um, I've been uh, putting these videos together for people who are interested in being a freelance artist. Uh, and uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. They're not the traditional tutorials on how to do art. They're more talking about like the business and the business aspects. So when you're out there fighting for your life, making as much art as possible, the rest of the business side, at least hopefully some of the information I give you will, you'll be able to make sense of it and uh, have a more successful career. So um, I wanted to talk to you guys. So uh, this is about traveling for work. And what I mean by traveling for work is taking jobs that are far away, like a lot further than where you live. So let me give you an example. Let's say you live in Washington State and you get an opportunity to go work in um, uh, uh, Seattle or uh, or you go for, uh, you're, you live in Seattle and get an opportunity <laughs> to work in uh, in California or you get an opportunity to work somewhere else. A lot of these days, especially if you're working in the film industry, uh, you're always kind of getting yanked around <laughs> on where, uh, wherever the tax incentives are lowest. And you might end up working in Canada and for, a, for an extended period of time and you bounce around. I remember a couple times I got stuck in uh, San uh, um in Las Vegas for just long periods of time and uh, it can be there's some things to keep in mind if you're going to be taking on that kind of work but even in the video game industry these days I'm noticing a lot of people bouncing around from job to job uh, the freelancing lifestyle is becoming much so much more popular than it ever used to be and not necessarily because people want to be freelancers but because people are being forced into being freelancers these days and you know that's just what comes to the territory if you don't want to do it don't do this career or um, somehow, you know, reduce your salary so much that people can't afford to get rid of you because you're super valuable at, you know, eight dollars an hour or whatever you need to reduce it down to to make yourself um, in, uh, indispensable. So um, anyway, here's a couple uh, a few little tips. Um, first of all, keep in mind, if you're going to be moving to a job, chances are your job is not going to be permanent. So don't, you know, don't haul your expensive furniture, don't haul your heavy couch, don't haul your giant flat screen television. Um, see if it more see it more as like a summer job or an opportunity like say if you were gonna go canning fish in Alaska. I, uh, I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but that's kind of how freelancing has become. So travel light, you know, find a small apartment and don't get too settled in, even after a year or two, because uh, it's very common for these jobs to kind of evaporate real quick out of nowhere. And the less stuff you have with you, the easier it's going to be for you to make whatever transition you need to. Um, the next uh, advice that I would give is... Um, your traveling expenses are typically not paid on a lot of these jobs. So you're going to want to keep that in mind if you're going to be dropping a bunch of cash to move somewhere. I know um, some of the people that moved to uh, Florida a while back when Digital Domain had expanded uh, to their Florida division. And these people packed up their families, they packed up their kids, they packed up everything. They traveled to Florida, like drove to Florida with their house in the back of a U-Haul, only to find out that the job was canceled. And no, they were not getting reimbursed for any of their traveling expenses. And that's typically how it goes. You don't get reimbursed. So keep that in mind. Um, travel light, travel fast, you know, put all your stuff in your parents' home if you have the opportunity to do that or maybe a good friend, um, anything you don't want to just sell. Um, another thing um, I would like to talk about is, um, you know, living out of a hotel kind of sucks. <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, so if you're not really 100% sure uh, when you travel to a new place if you want to stay, you know, check it out a little bit. Don't be so quick to go put a one-year lease down on a house or a two-year lease down on a house or move in with someone you don't know because sometimes these jobs don't pan out, you know, like I can't tell you how many times I've shown up to a job only to find out two days later that the job had been canceled and I got sent home. So keep in mind, you know, this is freelance artistry. Now, a lot of my experience is coming from the film part of it, and film is sort of notoriously transient and notoriously um, uh, flaky. 
<laughs> so that's kind of where a lot of this advice is coming from. If you want to get into visual effects or if you want to work on set, this is for you. Uh, the rest of you guys, um, you know, illustrating books, I don't know if it's as applicable, but that's kind of where my experience and my background comes from. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, if you know, I hope that's helpful. If you guys have any, you know, things that I missed, um, you know, be sure to write in the show notes down below or, or make some, I mean, make some comments, you know, and of course my website, uh, andysway.com if you want to check out my personal work and uh, my professional website, my company, swiheartstudios.com. Uh, feel free to check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this and have a great day. Bye-bye.